Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys four tips on how you can start memorizing more Bible verses. So if you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. All right, now let's hop right into this video. A lot of you guys love my videos when I talk about Bible studies and scripture. I even did a video um, sharing the song that I learned when I was younger to um, memorize all the books of the Bible. And a lot of you guys said that you were blessed by that. So if you haven't checked out that video, after this video, go check that out if you want an easy song to memorize all the books of the Bible. But today we're talking about how to memorize scripture, how to memorize Bible verses. And this is important because the word of God is like food to us. The Bible says that man does not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The word of God is our sword of the spirit. So if you've watched my spiritual warfare videos, you know that when you are in a spiritual fight and you just feel like you know that you're being attacked by the enemy, you could take up this word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, and you can fight back. So there are so many reasons why this word of God is so important and essential. It's God's message, it's his love letter to us. It lets us know who we are, whose we are, our identity, our purpose, every single thing in life, everything that we struggle with or have questions about, it can all be found in this word of God, his unfallible word and truth. So that's why I'm gonna be sharing with you guys four tips on how you can memorize scripture. So without further ado, Let's hop right into it. So tip number one, the first tip is to make scripture relevant to your situation. Make it relevant. It's so easy to remember something when there's meaning connected to it. And a lot of times when we're studying the Bible, it's like a routine or it's just like a task that we're trying to check off on our list. But what I like to do is run to the Bible as my number one resource. So instead of running to Google, if I'm struggling with something or I need to learn something, I'm like, what does the word of God have to say about it? And then I'm able to use what I learned from the Bible and apply it to my life, which then makes it relevant. So when you begin to run to the word of God and see what the word of God has to say about different situations in your life, and when you apply it, not just read it, <laughs> But apply it, apply what you're learning and what you're reading. It can start birthing results in your life. You'll start to see the changes. You'll start to see how it worked. And then when another situation comes up, you'll be able to remember, I remember when this scripture said this and I applied this scripture to my life or I stood on this scripture in this situation and it helped me get through because now it's relevant. Now it's tied to a memory. Now it's tied to a specific situation. And you saw how the word of God brought you through and how you were able to stand on that scripture and apply it to your life. So make it relevant, make it work for you, apply it to your life and live this out. Okay. So that is my first tip. The second tip on how to memorize scripture is to listen to biblical worship music. Believe it or not, not all the worship music or Christian music that you hear nowadays are actually biblical, right? And I love, you know, worship. You guys know I share a lot of different worship playlists and worship music um, that I recommend on my channel, but make sure that, you know, the worship music that you're listening to is actually biblical, that scriptures are actually being sung. Even if you have to go back to old hymns and start listening you know, to different hymns and things like that to get the word of God within you, song is a great method and way to remember scripture. So my third tip is to write down scripture. And there are different ways that you can apply this tip. So what I like to do is I like to study the Bible with flashcards and I write down scriptures if I want to study them and remember them. And whenever I'm in a situation and I need to remember, I take out my flashcards and I repeat it. A lot of you guys know on here that um, I've created many different scripture cards covering different topics to be able to help you and bless you if you're struggling in different areas. So for example, I have a scripture card set on you know overcoming lust and fighting temptation. So in moments when the enemy is trying to put lustful thoughts in your head and tr you're trying to overcome temptation, you can take out your scripture and your sword of the spirit and fight back 
back that thought and you can say, no, the word of God says that I cast down vain imaginations and every word that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. No, the word of God says to be holy as I am holy. So you can just take out the scripture and you can fight it back and those flashcards really help you to memorize it. Another thing that I used to do, um, if you don't want to do the flashcards, is if there's specific, like if there's a verse that I'm standing on, I'll take that one verse. So for like, if there's a verse for a week, if there's one week that I want to take out to remember this verse, so let's say John 3.16, that's one that a lot of us have memorized and a lot of us know. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believed in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So what I'll do is I'll take one verse that I want to stand on and meditate on for that week and I'll just write it over and over and over and over on a long piece of paper. And you can do that once a day, every day for a week and then you'll just meditate on this scripture. So that's another way that you can do it. That's another way that you can write it down. So that is my third tip. If you want to remember scripture, then definitely write it down and make it work for you. All right. The fourth tip on how to memorize scripture is to listen to the audio. Listen to Bible audio. So I told you guys to check out my scripture cards if you feel like that will be helpful to you. I'm someone, I'm an audio learner. We all learn in different ways. Some people are visual learners. Some people are tactile learners, like hand-on learners. I, if I listen to something over and over, then it gets inside of me. It gets in my spirit. That's why I love, you know, music. I love worship because if I listen to songs over and over, I'll remember all the words to my favorite songs. And if you just keep replaying that scripture, those scriptures over and over and over, then that can help get those words in your spirit. I also like using the Bible app. So if you have the Bible app on your phone, you're probably aware of this, but they actually have audio that you can have one of the um, auditorial speakers read the scripture to you. So sometimes if I'm like on the road or I'm driving and I can't you know, actually read my Bible, I play the Bible audio and I just listen to the Bible being read. So these are different ways that you can get scripture in your spirit and meditate on scripture and memorize scripture. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. If it's your first time on my channel, do not forget to subscribe and let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite Bible verse or what Bible verse are you studying or standing on in this season? All right, guys, and definitely check out those scripture cards. I hope that they're a blessing to you and I love you. I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Until next time, bye.